Hi, my name is Christina Govinda with DomesticFelicity.com and today we're going to talk about how to make boutique hair bows. For this project, we're going to need some pretty wide ribbon, a lighter, scissors, an alligator hair clip, and either a ruler or, and you're also going to need a glue gun. The first step is to measure two eight inch lengths of ribbon and then a six inch length of ribbon. Before we start assembling our bow, we're going to seal the ends with heat. You don't have to buy a fancy heat sealer. You can use a candle or a lighter that you have at home. So we're going to take our ribbon and our lighter and we're just going to gently seal those ends. And we're going to do that to every ribbon end. For the next step, we're going to use our glue gun to bring in both ends, laying them side by side, not overlapping though. We're going to do this to both eight inch pieces of fabric. Next, we're going to flip both bows over and we're going to put a dab of glue in the middle and fold it over and then hold it for a minute so that it can seal. And we're going to do the same with the other one. The next step with both bows is we're going to put glue on the bottom side of the pinched bow and fold our bow back over. Your bow will look like that when it's finished. The next step is to glue both bows together. So on the side of the bow here, I'm going to put a good size dab of glue because we want it to be really secure and then press both sides together. To finish our bow, I'm going to take our six inch piece of ribbon and because it's so wide fitting on the bow, I'm going to fold the ends in and I'm going to tack it down with some glue. I'm going to turn my bow over and put some hot glue on the back of it. Press the ribbon and wrap it around once. Put a tiny bit of glue at the top and press it on. Before I go too much further, I'm going to take my alligator clip, open it up and clip it on there. So it's hidden on the back of my bow, clipped onto the fabric and I'm going to glue the ribbon and the clip down securely at the same time. Once I have that securely glued and it's cooled a little bit, I'm going to wrap my ribbon around one more time. Keeping my ribbon folded and tacking it down, again with a little bit of glue if I have to. Now I'm going to lift the alligator clip one more time. I'm gonna seal down my ribbon. Once you've pulled off any extra glue strings, go ahead and check your ribbon and make sure everything is tucked and straightened the way it should be. And you're all done. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Christina and today we talked about how to make boutique bows.